the meantime, our team coverage continues with a high tide even temporarily closed North Main Street at the Kimberly Bridge in Suffolk. And tending your size, Gina Arevalo is in Norfolk now. And Gina, not bad right now, but that high tide is approaching. Yeah, it's going to be back here around 840 tonight. That water here near the Hague has since receded, but if you take a look behind me, you can see there are some ducks that are swimming in the road. So still a lot of water collected here, but not what it used to look like. We'll get more to uh, the photos and video from Norfolk in just a minute, but I want to show you some pretty incredible video coming from the Outer Banks. Check this out. A viewer sent this in from Buxton, and just look at how the water is flowing in from the ocean. It's almost hard to see the sand around these beach houses, and if you look closely, you can see some cars getting soaked by the water. Now, some schools in Cape Hatteras also closed today because of unsafe road conditions from the flooding. Crews continue to work on parts of NC Highway 12 after a storm caused dune erosion north of Rodanthe yesterday. And DOT officials are telling drivers to expect some mild wa overwash on the road. Back here in the Mermaid City, water filled the streets this morning near 18th Bay Street. You can see in some photos from a viewer, water was inching up the steps of these homes. The flooding also caused problems for people trying to use the Elizabeth River Ferry. HRT officials briefly stopped service and dispatched buses to get riders at the impacted ferry landings. Service reopened a few hours later, but HRT is monitoring the incoming tide and say they will send buses back out if flooding happens again. Now, high tide, like I mentioned, will be happening again around 840 tonight, but we could be seeing some more effects of that a little earlier, possibly here in the next hour. So we're going to keep monitoring what it looks like out here. Check back in with us at 6 o'clock. Tom, we'll send it back to you. For now, reporting live in Norfolk, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side. All right.